Hi, this is Adam from Time for Model. In this video I would like to present you the construction of the object 279 on a scale of 1 to 72. This is the latest model of the Tacom company. In fact, two models, object 279 and 279M and figure of the NBC soldier. The box is large, with a drawing of tank models that we can make. In the middle we have one bag with parts of the chassis, one bag with elements of the tank hull and turret, and one frame with a NBC soldier figure, and one bag with photo etched parts, decals, cord and instructions. The number of parts is enough to make a two identical tanks. Frames with parts of the tank look nice, have a lot of details. The details are sharp and clear. The frame with details of wheels and tracks makes the same impression. The figure of a soldier in anti-chemical outfit looks very detailed. The manual is not too big. Finally, there are three color tables with drawings of different tank versions. The first thing I do is wash all the frames in warm water with washing up liquid and I'm waiting for them to dry. I start construction by gluing the tank's chassis. In one place I had to use a putty, otherwise everything could be glued without a problem. Unfortunately, the tracks have puncture marks. I decided to remove only the excess plastic without filling. They will still be invisible after gluing. While gluing the tracks I helped myself with Tamiya tape. First I glued the links to the tape. Then applied a little glue. I quickly wound up the tracks before the glue set. The assembly of the tower was basically trouble free, only at the front had to use putty.
although the model looked very good at the beginning. Unfortunately, there is one part that spoils this image. Unfortunately, the barrel is not the strongest side of this set. In addition, connecting the barrel is not centric and requires improvement. It is worth waiting in this place for some tarnet replacement. There were no unpleasant surprises during the assembly of the hull. I used liquid putty only on the edge. The most complex detail is the rear tanks, which sticks quite simply.
I started fighting by applying a primer. Unfortunately, I only had a grey primer. I had to darken it a little with black paint to make it visible a bit on the grey part. When painting grey plastic, black primer would be the best. When painting, I used the handles that I printed on the 3D printer for this purpose. Under the video, I put a link to Thingiverse where you can download STL files. I painted the whole with quick dark green paint. In the rest of the work, I will brighten it. Brightening, I used a lighter green paint. Finally, I painted the edges with an even brighter green paint. Unfortunately, the camera was making fun of me. Only after copying the video material did I see that the balance of white was bad and the colors were distorted. At the end, I protected the hold with transparent gloss varnish.
after the varnish has dried, I began to make chipping marks with a bright green paint. I used a sponge or a thin brush. On these green dots, I applied the dots of very dark brown paint imitating bare, rusty metal. For chipping the tower, I accidentally used rebel gloss paints. Unfortunately, I noticed it at the end of the painting. For the other lemons, I used Tamiya and Mr. Hobbit paints. Object 279 was a heavy tank. The wheels did not have rubber bandages. I painted the wheels rims with silver paint. I did the same with the other places exposed to paint damage. To reduce the glow of silver spots a little, I used panel liner. I applied the pigments with a soft brush. To protect the pigments I used a mixture of pigment fixer and enamel thinner. I painted the tracks with a base color, a mixture of brown, black and metallic. Then I used the liner panel. And then I applied pigments which I secured with a pigment fixer. I used pigments in two colors, sand and brown. After the pigments have dried, I whip the excess off with lighter gasoline. I whip the visible edges of the tracks with a dry brush. I used Humber Oil Silver Paint. Finally, I used the liner panel once more to bring out the details of the connections. To make the color more diverse, I did post shading using a panel liner. First I panned all part with a liner panel and then I whipped in the places that should be brighter. I 
use ear sticks and gas line for lighters. Cotton buds often need to be replaced because they leave hair, which then need to be carefully removed. At this stage I also painted details such as showers and ropes. To make the color a little bit uniform, I use panel line. If necessary, remove excess with a brush. Then I covered the tank bottom with pigments, and I secured them with a pigment fixer with a lighter gas line. I washed the excess with gas line. I glued wheels and then tracks. I used medium thick super glue to glue the tracks. Ready chassis were added to the tank.
applied the pigments at the top of the tank in the same way as before. At the end I met an imitation of stains. I used oil paints, white, Van Dyke brown and black. I will use lighter gas line as the solvent. After finishing gluing and painting, I can say that the model is basically simple to build. The number of details on the turret and hull to be glued is small. Only the assembly of wheels and tracks requires great reconsideration during assembly. But the tracks are very well folded. The green color I used is a bit too dark. Still, I am happy with the result. That it for me. Thank you for watching the video and I can encourage you to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, comments, write, I will gladly answer. See you soon with another model.